a box inside a box. Okay. Bam. All right. Nice. Car solar, which is really nice that they put this in here. I mean, I wouldn't have bought a device that didn't come with its own MC4 cables. I mean, that's just silly. Typical power, like a computer cable. Um, as you can see, this is what I'm interested in. This right here is a five millimeter barrel plug, supposedly to 2.5. Quick correction, this is a, just a 5521. I thought it was gonna be a 5521 to 25, um, but both of these are the same port. They fit in the same hole. They kinda look different. So maybe that's the difference. Can you see that? One's black on the inside. I don't know, man. But let's get back to the video. Gonna charge this thing up. One thing we're gonna be able to see off top is how loud is this thing when you charge it? Charging ports over here. That sounded violent. So this thing is gonna take two hours to charge. It's at 30%, taking 143 watts and climbing. Well, one thing that has got to go is this beep. I have to turn that off. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. The fan is not bad. It kind of sounds like an old school computer. So it's charging at 165 watts. I actually thought it would charge a lot faster than that and I was concerned about it. Oh well, it's jumping up now. <laughs> So I've always learned that if you charge something really fast, it's not really good for the battery. I mean, the batteries are, I'm not sure they designed them to be capable of taking that amount of charge. Why would they do it? Because that's a potentially volatile situation. But I thought about getting a wall outlet to car charger for when I needed to charge this thing at a normal speed. And I don't even know which scenario I was thinking about. Oh, I know why. If I had to, because this is a super capable device, we'll get into that in another video. My Rock Pals has a, the similar capacity, 288 watt hours of power. If I wanted to pump that into this one, I was concerned about the ability of my Rock Pals to be able to dump 200 and some odd watts into it. But it has a 300 watt inverter. Actually, I don't think my Bodans is gonna be able to cover that. That's where this comes in because if I could plug this into my Bodans, I think that it will regulate itself because this is only gonna support probably like 10 amps or eight amps. So like a hundred some odd watts. But nine times out of 10, if I wanted to dump power from my rock pals into here, I would use this because DC to DC is less loss. So this is gonna be clutch as I deal with powering more stuff from here but using my other portable power stations as like extra batteries, essentially. I should be able to use this port right here to charge my Bowdens, and that's a DC to DC, so there's no loss there as well. So I'm, I'm really excited about the versatility of this thing because it can take in 200 watts of solar. My Rock Pals maxes out at 80, my Bowdens maxes out at 45. So I could really <laughs> charge this with 200 watts of solar, be honest, it's probably gonna be like 180, 160, 170, something like that. I could dump that quick 45 from here into my boat ends when it needs it. I think that that's super cool. All right, so here's a question that I'm gonna wanna answer in the future. When I draw from these ports, is this thing gonna tell me how much power these 5521 barrel plugs are using? One thing that I do notice about this thing is this black? Seems like it's gonna pick up some fingerprint stuff. Like, you see that? That film getting on there? I think that's gonna be an interesting thing. That's one observation. Another observation is right here. There is a bit of a crack. I, mean, I feel like I read a review of somebody talking about the handle being cracked as well. There is nothing on the back. The bottom is pretty plain Jane. It's just some rubber feet. I'm glad the feet have a low like they don't take up a whole lot of space and there's this concave convex yeah concave like room for air and space between that and the ground i don't know how i feel about the solar input being on the left hand side that's kind of gonna put me in a pickle how i pull solar into my house and my window something that i did notice that you know may not matter the barrel plug goes a little bit deep in there so you kind of have to pull it out some like from there 
and then you can more easily pull it out see how that it has that lip all of all of that right there that goes in there it's not just a cover it goes into the port now the observation is these ports are in here they're sideways so you're only going to be able to get one big brick on this one and it's gonna have to be this bottom one but y'all know how outlets work i mean let's be for real but maybe some of y'all don't think of that this thing is going to unlock a lot of testing potential for me especially with this kind of stuff i have one of these to usb-c i also have one of these to various other tips fun times man fun times ahead Thank you.